Hello everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to lay out web pages using div elements in HTML and CSS. Um, I have a very simple document here um, and um, in the body I'm just going to insert my first div. Um, I'm going to give it an ID equals and I'm going to call it header simply because um, all website layouts inc have a header, they have a content area and a footer. So I close that div and now I'm going to go to the style section and the style it. I'm going to go pound header curly brackets we need width, height and um, background color in order to see this div. So for the width I'm going to go 980 pixels px height I'm going to go 200 px and background color it could be anything I'm just going to go green so that is going to be our banner and it's a bit long so it's uh, for this little half a screen size that I have I, can, I have to scroll right and left so you can see the entire thing alright if I want to have a, another element here let's say I want to have a navigation bar all I need is another div here so you can simply duplicate this one so I'm just going to copy and paste it here and call it to uh, name it navbar so navbar is not going to show up unless we style it here on the top so I'm going to duplicate the header call it navbar change the size to 980 by 30 change the color to red and let's take a look so that is our navigation bar I need another section here for content obviously I'm going to duplicate one of these divs and repeat it here and call it content we're going to go up to CSS and duplicate that copy and paste it content so we rename it to content for the size I'm gonna go 980 by 400 all of them are going to have the same width and for color perhaps I go gray okay so that is that I just need another little part in the bottom which is going to be the footer so let's repeat this process we duplicate one of these divs and we call it the footer so now I have one two three four I'm gonna go up I have four of these three of these guys as well I need four so I'm gonna duplicate content and place it here call it footer uh, for that one I'm gonna change the size to 40 pixels for the height and background color let's go yellow I know it's not gonna be pleasing to the eyes but it is basically these are all placeholder divs you can replace them with any element you want okay let's say I would like to put a uh, banner here so I'm gonna go to the header section between the tags I'm just gonna go put a tag called IMG for image then SRC equals quotations I have a picture here that is called banner.jpg which I'm calling it from images folder okay that is my picture it's a bit long and tall so I'm going to resize it here so let's give it a width of 980px and height of 200px okay now it fits in there for the nav bar I can come here and go for home for home page um, let's go services about and contact um, although I have typed them 
in separate lines but they're going to appear in one line here because I have not put a break here so that's what I mean you see they're all in, a, in one line now but that's okay that can be fixed so um, in order to change these guys convert them to links you need to put a tag and and then this is gonna go href equals and this is going to go to index.html and we're gonna close it and for the matter of simplicity we're going to duplicate that code place them here and the same for the closing tags and then we have to change these guys to services about and contact so there you go now these guys are links um, for the content area you can put whatever you want I'm just going to put an h1 and call it welcome close h1 and then we're gonna go place a p tag a paragraph tag okay I don't have any text for this so I'm just gonna go to lipsum.com to borrow some randomly created text okay this paragraph is enough let's copy that one place it here between the p tags um, it goes all the way to the end of the document um, you need to press the home button on your keyboard and it just goes back here or you can simply scroll it from here in the bottom alright let's save and refresh so this is my page if you noticed uh, now we have a gap between these two um, div elements I'm going to show show you how to remove this one in another video so uh, we're not going to talk about it at the moment I'm going to I'm going to tell you why it's happening though because all headings have spacing before and after so that's why it's pushing it down so that will be fixed don't worry about it at the moment and in the footer section I'm just going to go type copyright I'm just going to put for instance 2018 and refresh so there you have it I have all the elements here um, when you're done with uh, placing the elements you can remove all these uh, colors and or you can change them to whatever you want and um, you end up with a web page layout then from here forward you can create the other pages off of it um, so I'm just going to show you briefly what I mean by that um, here for the nav bar I have red I can simply just change that to white that goes away uh, I'm going to do the same thing for footer as well I'm going to change it to white so that is that for the content maybe we need something a little bit lighter so we're gonna go to Google and then look for color picker then here I'm gonna go for something a little bit yellowish perhaps something like that there you go I'm happy with this so duplicate that or copy it and then place it here for the content I have F7 F1 EA you can choose any color you want um, it's just a little bit darker than the white background I'm not working on the aesthetics here at all uh, you can spend as much as as much time as you want to modify the font um, change the color of the uh, divs and whatever you want to do I just wanted to show you how to simply create a web page layout using div elements um, and obviously after this you're going to duplicate this home page and then create the other pages off of this one um, also do not forget I'm just using internal CSS for the uh, simplicity but if you wanted to have a, a multi-page website you have to have external CSS so this is all going to go to an external sheet I'm not going to bother with any of that I just um, I just wanted to show you how to work with divs to create web page layouts and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching